When one of you has a dispute with another believer How dare you file a lawsuit And ask a secular court to decide the matter Instead of taking it to other believers Don't you realize that someday we believers Will judge the world And since you are going to judge the world Can you decide even these little things among yourselves? Don't you realize that we will judge angels So you should surely be able to resolve Ordinary disputes in this life If you have legal disputes about such matters Why go to us and judges who are not respected by the church I am saying is this to shame you Isn't there anyone in all the church who's wise enough to decide these issues But instead, one believer suits another right in front of unbelievers Such lawsuits with one another is a duty for you Why not just accept the injustice and leave it at that? Why not let yourself be cheated instead? You yourselves are the ones who do wrong and cheat Even your fellow believers Don't you realize that those who do wrong Will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourself, those who indulge in sexual sin Or who worship idols Commit adultery, or I'm a prostitute Who practice homosexuality Or are thieves, or greedy people Or drunkards, or law abusive Or cheap people None of these will inherit kingdom of God Some of you were once like that But you were cleansed, you were made holy Or made right with God By calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ And by the Spirit of our God You say, I am allowed to do anything But not Everything is good for you And even though I am allowed to do anything I must not become a slave to anything You say food was made for the stomach And the stomach for food This is true though someday God will do away with both of them But you can't say that our bodies were made for sexual immorality They were made for the Lord And the Lord cares about our bodies And God will raise us from the dead by his power Just as he raised our Lord from the dead Don't you realize that your bodies are actually parts of Christ? Should a man take his body Which is part of Christ And join it to a prostitute? Never! And don't you realize that if a man joins himself to a prostitute He becomes one body with her From sexual sin No other sin is so clearly affects the body As this one does for sexual immorality Is a sin against your own body Don't you realize that your body Is the temple of the Holy Spirit Who lives in you And was given to you by God You do not belong to yourself For God bought you with a high price So you must honor God with your body